Welcome to Eagle News. Hello, I'm Trent. I'm Abinov. And I'm Sperthy. We're so glad you could join us today. In today's episode, we will report about Eversol Run Middle School news, national news, Ohio news, teacher focus, science news, riddles, technology news, and much, much more. In U.S. news, on September 6, 2021, NASA's Perseverance rover successfully collected its first ever sample of Martian rock. A rover is a wheeled exploration robot. It landed on Mars in February 2021. Its mission is to search for signs of ancient life on Mars. Collecting samples is a big part of the rover's mission. The Mars rock samples can tell scientists more about how the planet formed. The rocks also provide evidence that life once existed on Mars. Rocks can tell perseverance signs of ancient life. Once per- perseverance collects all its samples, it will drop them in a safe place. Perseverance will collect more rocks. Scientists plan to collect them in the future. They will send another spacecraft to Mars. It will bring the samples back in the next 10 years or so. NASA will work with the European Space Agency on that mission. In world news, world-renowned primatologist Dr. Jane Goodall launched a grassroots movement this week. During the United Nations Climate Week to support their ecosystem restoration project, the Trillion Tree Campaign, um, Trees for Jane, organized by the inspiring founder of the Jane Goodall Institute, aims to stop deforestation and help rena- re- um, replenish the world's dwindling stock of trees and forests throughout the community-based protection and, refor- and reforestation programs. She narrated a film called A Trillion Trees, in which calls on every person and every business to plant and care for a tree in their backyards, on rooftops, or communities. Their website aims to inspire, educate, and engage global audience to act on as the world nears a tipping point in flight against climate change. I wish her the best of luck. In more world news, rivers under the sea, some rivers flow over land. These rivers carry more than just water. They carry mud, gravel, sand, and clay. All the solid stuff is sediment. Sometimes rivers carry the sediment all the way to the ocean. When a river filled with sediment empties into the ocean, it can become an undersea river. When these rivers hit the ocean, it's like an avalanche. The mud water mix is heavier than normal ocean water, so it sinks and flows to the lowest places. It behaves in the ocean the same way that normal water behaves on land. Over time, the flowing muddy water can cut deep channels into the seafloor. A channel is a small canyon that water flows in. Undersea rivers are often shorter than land ones, but they move move huge amounts of water and sediment. They carry it deep into the ocean. Scientists are still learning more about how these undersea rivers work. Scientists also use remote-controlled submarines to find hidden rivers. They hover just above the channels. The submarines then gather information. The information can help scientists better understand how these rivers work. Learning more about undersea rivers is important. We want to know where they are and how they flow. Scientists hope that one day we will understand these undersea rivers as well as their cousins on dry land. On this date in history, in 1908, Henry Ford introduces the Model T car. It only costs $825. In language art news, what is the difference between internal and external conflict? All conflict falls into two categories, internal and external. Internal conflict is when the character struggles with their own opposing desires or beliefs. It happens within them, and it derives their development as a near character. External conflict sets a character against something or someone beyond their control. External forces stand in the way of a character's motivations and create tension as the character reaches their goals. Including both internal and external conflict is crucial for a good story, because life will always include both. I will remember this when I write my next story. Fun fact of the day, more human twins are being born now than ever before. And the first person convicted of speeding was only going 8 miles per hour. In Eagle Sports News, it was another great week of Eagle Athletics took place at the Ness. Our volleyball team began the week with a sweep of Upper Arlington Hastings. These girls are playing hard, improving each time they play. On Tuesday, our cross-country team squad hosted a tough Marysville team. The boys were edged by the Monarchs. Our girls improved their record to 3-1. to one. Girls tennis beat Pickerington Lakeview on Thursday night in the wind and cold. Great job, ladies. 
Most notably this week, though, our boys' golf team completed their regular season undefeated. Good luck to both the boys' and girls' golf team as they compete in Central Ohio Middle School Golf Championships this weekend. Let's bring home the gold. Lastly, Eversol Middle had our first student athletic council meeting this week, and it was a and it was great to work with our elected student at the leaders on sportsmanship and character. Go Eagles! In science news, what is, earth, what is air resistance? Here on Earth, we, take, we tend to take air resistance for granted. We just assume that when we throw a ball, launch an aircraft, deorbit a spacecraft, the act of it traveling through our atmosphere will naturally slow it down. But what is the reason for this? Just how is air able to slow down an object, whether it is in a free fall or in flight? Because of our re reliance on air travel, our enthusiasm for space exploration and love for sports and making things airborne, including ourselves, understanding air resistance is a key to understanding physics and an, in an integral um, part of many scientific disciplines as part of the sub-discipline known as fluid dy dynamics. It applies to fields of aerodynamics, dy hydrodynamics, and astrophysics and nuclear physics, just to name a few. In math news, what is an ordered pair? An ordered pair is a composition of the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate, having two values written in a fixed order within parentheses. It helps to locate a point on the Cartesian plane for better visual comprehension. The number values on an ordered pair can be integers or fractions. In the Cartesian plane, we define two-dimensional space with two perpendicular reference lines, namely x-axis and y-axis. The point at where the two lines meet is the zero at the origin. For this week's weekly riddle, Mississippi has four S's and four I's. Can you spell that without using S or I? Yes, yes you can. You can spell it. T-H-A-T. -T. In social studies news, what is culture? Culture is known as characteristics and knowledge of a particular group of people, encompassing language, religion, uh, cuisine, social habits, music, and arts. Through the study of culture, learners understand how humans being created all learn, share, and adapt to culture, and appreciate the role of culture in shaping their lives in society, as well as the, as well as the lives of society of others. Culture is studied in geography, history, sociology, and anthropology, as well as other topics across the curriculum. I'm Trent, and this is the week in weather. So on Friday, we have a high of 75, and there's a low of 50, and a 10% chance of rain. Uh, on Saturday, we have a high of 77, and a low of 60, with a 20% chance of rain. And finally, on Sunday, we have a 74 high, and a 60 low, with 50% chance of rain. Have a good weekend. In National Day calendar news, today is International Coffee Day, National Homemade Cookies Day, in World Smile Day. In health news, what is a circulatory system? A circulatory system is made up of blood vessels that carry blood away from and towards the, arter the heart. Arteries carry blood away from the heart and veins carry the blood back to the heart. The circulatory system carries oxygen, nutrients, and hormones to the cells and removes waste products like carbon dioxide. These roadways Travel in one direction only to keep things going where they should. In social and emotional use, what is effective communication? Building good relationships with other people can greatly reduce stress and anxiety in your life. In fact, improving your social support is linked to better mental health in general, since having good friends can act as a buffer for feelings of anxiety and low mood. However, for some people, their anxiety can contribute to their um, avoidance of social situations and prevent them from building building relationships. This is especially true if you're socially anxious and desperately want to make friends, but are either too fearful to do so or unsure about how to reach out to others. Now it's time for this week's Eagle Recognition Awards. Each week we'll pull out six Eagle Recognition Award winners. If your name is pulled, please come down to the office to see Mrs. Moses to claim your prize. Good luck. Malachi Deering by Neely for showing ownership. Eddie John uh, by Mrs. Jerger for being service-minded. 
Sydney Kish from Mrs. Greco for showing ownership and respect. Drew Sadakar uh, by showing service minded and acceptance by Ms. Greco. Allie Campbell for being service minded by Mrs. Greco. Luna Ryan from Mrs. Phelps for showing service minded ownership, acceptance, and respect. In more Eversol news, join us at the drum this coming Wednesday. October 6th, as the Eversol 8th grade football team plays their rival, Gazelle Middle School, this game will be under the lights for Dublin City School's 8th grade championship. The theme will be wide out, and the game will start at 6.30. I can't wait to go to the game. See you there. Well, that's Eagle News for today. If you have a story you would like to be featured on Eagle News, please let Mr. McNeil know. Here at Eversoul, we are creating a community by excellence by being positive, working hard, and respecting the uniqueness of ourselves and each other. See you next week and have an amazing day.